Did you drink underage? I know I did. Many people in the United States believe that if the legal drinking age was lowered to 18, you would see more teen-related problems and deaths occur. But really, when you turn 18, you are a legal adult. If the, if the legal drinking age was lowered to 18, less, bro less laws would be broken, underage drinking would decrease, social drinking would be more common, and dangerous drinking would also decrease. Now, when you turn 18, you are an adult. You're able to buy tobacco products. You're able to buy lottery tickets. You're able to vote. You're even able to make the decision to risk your life and enlist in the Army to fight for your country. If you're able to decide that you're willing to risk your life for your country, you are mature enough to have a drink. Now, not as many laws will be broken if the drinking age was lowered to 18. Because the people that are drinking underage are high school and college students. If the drinking age was lowered to 18, those people would be able to drink legally. Now, drinking is already allowed in 29 states on private property with parental consent. It's legal in 25 states for religious purposes and 11 states for educational purposes. Whether the drinking age is 21 or 18, there are always going to be alcohol-related problems, and making the legal drinking age 21 is not going to solve that problem, and in some ways can actually make that problem worse. The underage drinking would decrease if the legal drinking age was lowered to 18, because as you can see by the chart, the highest dependence on alcohol is between the ages of 18 and 20. It decreases when you hit 21. Drinking is a social activity. When you go out to eat, you can have a drink, you go to a concert, or even at a party. Drinking is a part of our everyday culture. We see it everywhere, and when I mean everywhere, I do mean everywhere. Not only when we go out with our families to a restaurant do we see people drink, but also on commercials on TV. Alcohol is also described as a social lubricant. It makes stressful situations more relaxed and calm. Now, and having a drink at a party or out to eat when underage, you're going to drink more. You're not just going to have a drink or two. Dangerous drinking. Places when we drink underage, such as fields, by the river, at houses when parents aren't home, is unsafe because you don't have any help. And when teens realize that there's something wrong with their body, that they don't feel right, they won't seek help because they're scared that they will get in trouble. When if the drinking age was lowered, they would be able to seek help and know that they would be okay and not be in trouble. Also, if the drinking age was lowered to 18, 18 year olds would be able to go out to a bar or to a restaurant and drink and they would be able to be monitored by the bartenders. So when the bartenders saw that they had hit their limit and didn't need any more, they would be able to cut them off. But instead, they're drinking in these unsafe places where they don't have any monitoring going on. So they will get belligerently drunk and health problems will occur. Now also another form of dangerous drinking is binge drinking. And when you're under the age of 21 and cannot buy alcohol yourself, you binge drink. You drink as much as you possibly can right then and there because you don't know when you're going to be able to get your hands on it again. About 90% of alcohol consumed under 21 is a form of 
binge drinking. So instead of saying that lowering the age to 18 would increase the problems and deaths in teens, I believe that it would decrease the problems and deaths because you will have less binge drinking, which means you're not drinking as much, you're not getting on the road belligerently drunk and making decisions that you shouldn't because you're still in your right mind because you're not having a drink as much as you possibly can. Also, the laws won't be broken of drinking under age. So why not go ahead and lower the age of drinking to 18?